Welcome back, my Punky Bunch. If you're new here, I'm Danny, and I'm so glad you found my channel. I was super excited to film this video, and sadly, it's been taking me forever to get it done. So I apologize to all of you who have been anxiously waiting for a new video from me. I am super, super busy at work, as always. Stop buying stuff, people. No, seriously, I am super busy at work, but also I've been struggling with my perfectionism. Um, I know people think that's not like a real mental disorder, but I have been struggling with being okay with my background and how I look at my videos, so I have tried to film this video like three different times and I keep switching things around and I don't you know really know what background I want to use and whatnot so I'm a weirdo mentally and physically so so sorry it's taken me so long to get this out but here it is finally my long awaited all of my aesthetics video that's kind of a trendy video that people have been doing. I'll pop up all of the um, thumbnails of all the different videos like this that I've watched and I'm super like into watching these type of videos because I think it's cool that not everybody just sticks to one aesthetic. They like lots of different aesthetics and they whatever mood they're in is what aesthetic they wear that day. So today I'm looking kind of like a like a baby doll kind of I don't know this is my Harajuku mini uh, dress from Gwen Stefani's Little Kids Target collection, so I had no reason to wear it, so I'm wearing it in this video because it's super cute. And I decided to wear this huge headband bow because, again, where else am I going to wear it? Also, this wig is from a local black owned wig store in my area, so. If you're not supporting your local black owned businesses make sure you're doing that to support the black community and no more rambling let's just get right into the video first up is tomboy i decided to put this one first because it is the aesthetic i wear pretty much on the daily because i'm not able to dress up for work I never openly talked about the fact that I identify as gender fluid, but I always felt like I was half boy and half girl, and my fashion choices always reflected that. Comfort is key when dressing tomboy, so I decided to pair these super comfy camo cargo pants with this Moschino crop top and the most comfortable shoes I own, Doc Martens. These are new, so not comfortable until they're broken in. I love hats, especially snapbacks. This one I customized by adding the paint and tomboy lettering. I thought the Adidas bag went well with this look because you need some kind of athletic brand visible when dressing like a boy. And I went neutral with my makeup because this is a simple aesthetic. My second aesthetic is kawaii. I wear this style quite frequently. To me, kawaii means pastels, bows, candy, hearts, being sweet and cute, and I think this outfit embodies that perfectly. The base of my outfit is this baby blue pleated tennis skirt and a sweet tart graphic tee with a pink heart cardigan over top. No kawaii outfit is complete without all the accessories, so I added white over the knee tights with bow detail, a bow belt, pearl and diamond jewelry. Hair accessories are also a must have, so this pearl headband and bow hair clips tie all the other accessories together. To finish off this look, I added my split plaid platforms to match my split pink and blue hair. An acrylic bag showing off my sweet tarts because who doesn't love sweet tarts? This 
This next aesthetic I'm calling goth bitch is more my aesthetic than traditional goth. Apparently you can't say you're goth unless you listen to the music and I don't. I used to be into witchcraft as a teen but now I just like to dress like a witch. I love an all black outfit but to make it more me I need a vibrant hair color and what is more fitting than orange. This outfit is more of a sexy witch look. The ruffle skirt and bustier are not typical goth items but I thought they went well with the sheer collar top that definitely gave me witchy vibes to make it even more witchy i added this wide brim hat corset belt and choker with crescent moon details and to finish off the look i had to wear my old lace up boots the super cute witchy bag and dangly moon and star earrings Moving on to kid core, which is pretty much dressing like you are a five-year-old, lots of rainbows and little kid accessories. I'm never going to grow up, so this aesthetic is perfect for me, plus it helps that I am the size of a large kid so I can wear stuff in the kids section. This rainbow stripe crop top and pink tool skirt I wear a lot, but I've never worn them together until now. This outfit is so cute, definitely one of my favorites. The rainbow socks, the mismatched neon spiked sneakers, and rainbow hair clips are definitely something a little kid would wear, not a 40 year old. Next is creepy cute or pastel goth, whatever you want to call it, I'm all about it. The contrast of black and a pastel color speaks to me, pretty yet still dark. For this fit I wanted to wear my favorite creepy thing and that is skulls and bones. I added a pretty lavender tool skirt and a bunch of cute pink accessories. To finish the look I added my favorite hat that I wear way too much and my pink dog Martins in this pentagram bag. <laughs> sure if this is an actual aesthetic but it should be and it is the fashion doll aesthetic. Barbie, Bratz, Monster High, OMG, LOL dolls are all a great source of inspiration for me. Probably why little kids are so drawn to me. They pretty much look like a replica of one of their dolls. This fit gives me Paris fashion doll vibes. This is my dream Bessie Johnson dress and I was so happy when I found it. I had been searching for literally years. When I bought these pink velvet platforms, I had this idea to do a baby blue and pastel pink look. I bought this beret specifically for this outfit and I really wanted to wear a, a puff sleeve top because I'm super into that trend right now. The finishing touches are pretty dainty jewelry, lace socks, and obviously split pastel blue and pink hair. aesthetic has been something I've been into since I was five years old. Yes, five. Don't believe me. Here I am in kindergarten. I love colorful hair, crazy makeup, and punky clothes way back then, and I still do. This is probably the only aesthetic that I fully embody since I do actually listen to the music. My go-to punk outfit always includes a band tee, so I had to wear this Misfits crop top. I don't know why, but I always want to wear plaid and leopard print when I'm feeling punky. So I added my leopard print moto jacket and my Charlie Tedrick Brixton boots. This strappy skirt is so punk rock to me. Accessories are super important for this aesthetic, so I added a spike choker, lots of bracelets, mismatched earrings, and a skull necklace. This metal cage bag and split red and pink hair bring the whole punk look together. aesthetic is rockabilly. The 50s is one of my favorite decades. The music, the cars, Marilyn Monroe, and when women wore petticoats pretty much daily. Everything else about the 50s, not so much. When I think of rockabilly, I think of swing dresses with a cool pattern and petticoats, so that is what I went with for this outfit. This was actually a dress that I cut into a two-piece, and then I added a black petticoat underneath. I love neon green and pink together so I had to add pops of pink in my belt, my shoes, and my hair. And how cute is this cactus bag? 
It reminds me of Palm Springs, which is my favorite place. Next up is Neon Girl. I'm an 80s girl, so no surprise I'm super into neons. Unlike most people who would wear one or two neons at a time, I'm into wearing all the neon colors in one outfit. My inspiration came from this moto jacket, which is one of my favorite jackets. So I added a hot pink top underneath this neon yellow tulle dress and these neon green platforms match the green in the jacket perfectly. There wasn't any orange in the jacket, but I decided to add it into the look on my legs. With the other accessories, I tried to add a mix of black and neon to match the jacket. On to the next aesthetic, Raver Girl. I'm not sure why I'm into this aesthetic. I don't go to raves or festivals. Crowds freak me out, but festival fashion reminds me of something you might wear if you were performing on stage so I can live out my fantasy of being a singer without actually performing for anyone. Rave fashion is usually pretty skimpy. I'm not comfortable with showing that much skin, so I decided to wear this pink patent mini skirt with this mesh top with a metallic bralette underneath and a holographic harness over top of the mesh top. The harness has this cute butterfly detail, so I decided to incorporate more butterflies into the look. Butterflies in my hair and on my shoes. I also tied in the hearts from my skirt into my earrings, leg harness, and necklace. <laughs> is the Quora, which is pretty similar to Kid Quora, except for the amount of accessories and pattern mixing. There's still a lot of elements that are childlike, but just more over the top. I wanted to wear these colorful leggings, so I decided to wear them like tights under these pink short overalls. To mix another pattern into the outfit, I added this checkerboard sweater. Can't be into decor without wearing an obscene amount of hair accessories. Any accessories for that matter. Bracelets, necklace, stickers on your face. Nothing is too much. It is such a fun aesthetic. Lastly, we have Lolita. This is my version of Lolita. I've never fully committed to this aesthetic, although I would like to try it someday. I guess this would be considered sweet Lolita. I don't own any Lolita dresses, so I just used a full white petticoat and this cute pink plaid bodysuit as the base of the outfit. The petticoat was just plain white, so I decided to add some bow embellishments to make it more Lolita. Traditionally, Lolitas would wear some kind of cute Mary Jane type shoes. But I wanted to wear these platform sneakers that has clouds on them, so a cloud necklace and bag were added to bring whimsy to the Lolita look. I may not add as many accessories as a true Lolita would, but I think my version is pretty close. <laughs> So that is all of my aesthetics. Let me know which aesthetic is your favorite or if you're like me and you're a fashion chameleon and you just go in and out of every different aesthetic that's out there because fashion is fun and you can look however you want, whenever you want, and nobody's gonna stop you. So, so let me know which outfit was your favorite, which aesthetic's your favorite. If you've not subscribed yet, then hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you like weirdo fashion. And my dryer's done. If you like weirdo fashion, alternative fashion, doll, kawaii, all of the aesthetics that are in this video, then join my little weirdo community and who knows when I'll post it on a video because at this point it's anybody's guess, so I'd like to be able to post frequently, but I just can't seem to get it going. So thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking this video, and remember, same as Lane, so embrace your weirdness, and I will see you guys in my next video.